fun and happy Wednesday. It's Coach Tam of Coach Tam Fitness in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I want to talk to you about recovering from what I call a sugar addiction. So uh, those of you that have been following me uh, may be aware that I celebrated uh, my nine year anniversary of maintaining 100 pounds of weight loss in October. Um, but like many of you, it was not an easy journey. And one of the things that I really struggled with was releasing my addiction to soda and to sweets. So I was that person that literally, um, those of you that are familiar with back in the day, 7-Eleven, I don't even know if they still have them. They had these big gulp size um, sodas. You know, I was getting those several times a day and my favorite soda was Mountain Dew. Um, and I had dessert throughout the day. So it wasn't uncommon for me to get uh, a peanut butter cookie or a chocolate chip cookie after my lunch. And then I had this habit of getting something sweet with my dinner. I just felt like I had to do that every single day. And as I started my weight loss journey, I realized that these things were going to be a challenge if I really wanted to reach my goal. So uh, one of the things that I had tried in the past was just going cold turkey and giving up everything. And I hadn't found that to be successful. So I tried a different approach that I want to share with you today. And I call that the weaning method. And what that means is just like you wean a baby, um, it is, is you weaning yourself off of your addiction uh, to these foods or these drinks that have become a part of your staple diet. So instead of giving up soda completely, what I did is I said, Tam, you can have one 12 ounce soda per day. And that put me at about 150 calories for that soda. So you'll want to look for one that has the least amount of calories, but gives you that sense of satisfaction of still getting to have your soda. The second thing I did is I said, you know what, instead of giving up sweets altogether, because I just didn't feel that was realistic for me, what I did is actually spend some time in the grocery store and identified a treat that I would enjoy, but was low calorie. And when I say low calorie, I'm talking 150 calories or less. For me, that was the little Debbie pinwheels um, and the little ice cream sandwiches. So what I loved about that and what I would encourage you to do is find something that you actually like that will be satisfying. It doesn't feel necessarily like diet food that you can enjoy and you can have the whole thing. Because the, the tough part is when you've got to reach in a bag and take a few out, that becomes difficult to stick to. But when you have one ice cream sandwich or one pinwheel, you've got one and you're done. And then the, the third thing that I did was introduce fruit into my diet because that gives us an opportunity to get natural sugars much better for our body. All of the recommendations we, we see are really around added sugars. So there is a recommendation of two cups of fruit per day. I love strawberries, but I hadn't made a habit of eating them. So I introduced those into my diet. Other things that you can enjoy that give you that sweet taste are things like oranges and grapes. Introduce those things into your diet and get to that two cups per day, and that will help reduce the cravings. So I did this for 30 days, and what I found at the end of the 30 days is that my cravings for sugar decreased, again, because of the introduction of fruit, but then I didn't have to give up everything at once. And over time, I was able to let those things go. So I can go a long time now without getting a soda or not feeling like I have to have something sweet at every meal. So it is possible to get there. So instead of just giving everything up and trying to go team no sugar and go cold turkey, consider weaning yourself off of these things, giving yourself and your mind time to catch up and adjust and see what impact that makes. If you have any questions on this, feel free to drop a comment in, uh, to drop a note in the comments below, and I'll be sure to come back and address it. For more tips, please make sure you like Tamara Jackson Fitness Expert on Facebook. You can also follow me on Twitter at Fitness Tamara, and check out my website at www.265point.com. Have a great Wednesday. God bless.